I feel like Brinley's gonna be so distracting this whole video, but that's okay because you're cute, huh? Okay guys, hello, welcome back to my channel. So I think this is probably gonna be the most informational video I will ever do or have done in my channel because it was highly requested. So before I start this super informational video, um, I want to talk about something that like, oh my gosh, I cannot believe I got sent this because this is something I 100 billion percent use. You can literally call and text my close family and friends and I could not live without this. If I could give you one personal baby necessity, newborn necessity, it is this product. The Haka. <gasps> I'm so excited because I freaking love this thing. Okay, so I heard YouTube moms like talk about this product and then I just put it on my registry. One of Steven's friends actually got it for me and little did I know that I would not survive without this. I personally have a huge milk supply. So when she was a newborn, I would literally leak all the time. Pretty much like your breast has like let down and then like hind milk and like forward milk. I don't know if I did, I don't even know if I'm saying this correctly. When your baby starts like nursing, it takes a while for like your milk to come in and you actually like feel it like trickling down as weird as that sounds. So with her, when she was a newborn, even now because she's gonna be six months old this month and I still use this product, anytime I would breastfeed her on one breast, the other breast milk will still come in even though she wasn't like nursing on this side so I would just leak and it would leak all over and the whole point of this is that you don't waste your milk so I quickly found out that I could not live without this a lot of you ask how do you have such a big stash in my freezer and that's literally because of this they kindly I cannot believe they sent me this because this is something that I literally use 24 7 sent me obviously they're new generations and it is in two different sizes this one is the 5.4 ounce holder so i believe it's a little bigger okay yeah this is a hunk this is the four ounce one and this is the 5.4 ounce one so how you use it is once you breastfeed on one boob you put it on the opposite boob that you're breastfeeding you gently squeeze and then it just suctions on and it just stays there hands free it catches your milk throw it in the bag, write the date, throw it in the freezer, boom. Every time you do that, you build a stash. This is actually the milk that I just caught nursing and I literally got an ounce of just sitting there doing nothing and it was just suctioned to my boob. So this is why it's so convenient and so awesome because you're pretty much like effortlessly pumping. They both have a lid, they're both made from 100% food grade silicone, which is awesome and it's convenient, it's portable, you can take it anywhere, you pretty much just don't need the pump unless you have a routine of pumping every morning and every night. I'm gonna leave a link to this down below. They actually gave me a discount code, which is 55% off. So I believe these are like $30. If you go to Target, it's gonna be at least $30. And I have a coupon code and a link down below for only $12, which is like literally insane. But with that being said, this 55% off discount code that I have for you guys, you need to take advantage of it. So that was kind of educational, but moving on to the very educational portion. By the way, I don't think this is gonna be a vlog because I think it's gonna be a longer sit down video, but as requested, I could literally put up over 10 or 15 DMs asking, how do you sleep train? How do you sleep train? How did you sleep train? My baby doesn't sleep train. How did you get your baby to sleep? How'd you get it on a schedule? You make it look so easy. First of all, it is not easy. Second of all, she is not perfect like literally she does not sleep at the time she's supposed to sleep every single day and that's okay so with that being said today we are going to talk about that and how i sleep changed her and how i implemented a schedule and healthy sleeping habits and we're going to pretty much talk about her her routine so i literally wrote down notes because i am the most like i have so many thoughts in my head and i just i'm very bad at like organizing them when i speak so so the first step to sleep training is to distinguish when you feel like your baby's ready to do it. They suggest, the world pediatricians suggest four to six months to start sleep training. Some people do it right when they get home from the hospital and they skip all the shenanigans of co-sleeping, this and that. They just put them straight in the crib from day one. Um, and some people want their baby in the room till they're a year old and that's fine But it's your choice whenever you're ready It's your choice to distinguish when you feel like your baby's ready and when you're ready or whatever the case is For me personally, I was a nanny for over five years for a lot of infants and specifically a family that I 
cared for when they were newborns and infants and I started sleep training them at four months old and that worked good for them so I decided to do that with my daughter and it worked good for her. So I feel like four months is a good way to introduce sleep training, not dive in but definitely introduce self-soothing and sleep training, getting them to fall asleep on their own. Whatever age you choose when you feel like okay my baby's ready, I'm ready, however many months your baby is, you need to then set a schedule. Set a loose schedule because if you make it so strict and then you're like oh my god my baby's off schedule you're just gonna make yourself go crazy you're never gonna leave the house and if your baby's out you're gonna want to come home because it has a schedule so set a loose schedule in my opinion I feel like diving in fully is just not realistic use it based on what they naturally what the schedule they're naturally already on Brinley always woke up around 7 or 7 30 and I decided to make her schedule off of whenever she naturally does things I started my day at 7 7 30 and that's when I go from there to plan out the rest of the day one huge huge factor to making a schedule is to follow an eat wake sleep cycle this itself is going to teach your baby how to self soothe and fall asleep without nursing or anything like that so eat wake sleep cycle is they wake up they eat they play and then after an hour and a half to two hours, they fall back asleep. Now, depending on what age you do it, some babies can only last an hour being awake. I remember she could only last an hour before she was tired, and now she can last two hours, sometimes two and a half hours. So definitely implement the eat, wake, sleep cycle and just continue it throughout the day. Once they wake up, you feed them right away, you have playtime, and then you put them to bed. Brinley always fell asleep in the swings, so I started off with like one nap for the day. I made sure she was in the crib. The other two to three naps in the day I let her in the swing and as she got the hang of it I would do like two naps in the crib three naps in the crib and then eventually I got rid of the swing so I would swallow her I would put her in the crib and then I would walk away now when I put Brinley in the crib, I use the cry it out method. I use a controlled cry it out method. If there's no tears, I'm not gonna go in there because I want her to learn how to self-soothe. At four months, she still didn't know how to perfectly put the pacifier in her mouth. So whenever it would fall out, she would cry again. So I would go in there, make no eye contact, don't stimulate them. I would put the pacifier back in and walk away. And so I would just keep doing that until she fell asleep. There was some night, some days where she was like screaming, crying, like she was like, <gasps> so like me and Steven are like, okay, we don't feel comfortable with that. So we would grab her and we just like had her out maybe for 10-15 minutes and then we would try again But we did not give up because consistency bless you Bless you because consistency is key You're not gonna get anything done if you don't if you aren't consistent in it And just because today you're like oh my god my baby isn't ready They are ready you just have to teach them and you have to teach them how to self-soothe And you have to keep doing it even though it's hard And even though every single night for the first week she cried Keep doing it because it will pay off And two weeks from now or three weeks from now You can just put your baby in there give them the pacifier and walk away And your baby will fall asleep It took a long time and there were so many times where we see her like Okay we give up she's not ready but we just kept doing it Kept doing it even though she cried when we put her down We just kept doing it and then she eventually learned and now I put her in the crib for nap times and bedtime and she falls right asleep because she learned that she just can self to herself. Also another thing I did is to set the mood for bedtime and sleep time consistently so every time she takes a nap I close the blinds, I put the white noise on, I swaddle her and I put her binky on and I do that every single time so she knows it's sleep time. I also bought a portable sound machine so if her nap time conflicts with us being out and about I just give her her pacifier and I cover her car seat with a nursing cover and then I put a the white portable white noise machine inside so that she's familiar with that so that she can sleep anywhere because you also don't want your kids to be used to only sleeping in the crib because then you can't like do as much if that makes sense. I feel like this video is just so all over the place and I hope I'm making sense and I feel like I'm not like teaching anything. I feel like I'm just blurting stuff out but it's not in the right order and it's like frustrating me. One thing that you need to implement in order to teach your baby how to sleep through the night or sleep train them in the crib at night is to implement a bedtime routine and what I personally did, I know not all moms agree with this, but once she was five months old, in order for her to learn bedtime, I bathed her every single night. I didn't wash her hair every night. Around seven o'clock, I started bath time, so I bathed her, and then I put on her lotion, I put her in her PJs, and then we turn off the lights, turn on the white noise, I read her a book, I nurse her, and then I put her to bed. After she gets out of bath, she's already yawning because in her brain, she's like trained that 
this is her bedtime routine and this is preparing her to go, go to sleep. So definitely having a strict bedtime schedule will help your baby learn when it's time to wind down and will help putting them in the crib and walking away way easier for them because it, they're calm, they're relaxed, they're like okay this is time to sleep and they won't probably cry as much. So as a whole review overall, I say to implement an eat, wake, sleep cycle from the beginning. Figure out when your baby's ready. Once your baby's ready, set a schedule for them based on what they're naturally already doing throughout the day. Start with one nap a day in the crib, swaddled, dark room, white noise, pacifier, whatever, the, or maybe they not use a pacifier. Then continue, gradually add more naps in the crib throughout the day. Set a good, solid, consistent bedtime routine. Once you have a good consistent bedtime routine, do that every single day and start them off in the crib and then gradually they will be able to sleep the whole night through the crib. Be consistent and they may go through leaps and all that, but just be consistent. Try a cry it out method and it's okay if your baby cries, like it's okay. I know some moms feel guilty and they're like, I wish I wasn't like this. And it's okay if they cry. Like there's different cries and you know when your baby's in harm and horrible crying and just like whining crying. So I hope this answered all your questions. I feel like it was like a messy video. I'm not good at sit down videos, which is why I never do them. But if you have any more questions, please let me know down below if I didn't make sense at all. So yeah guys, thank you again for watching and don't forget to check out the different size hakas. I'm gonna leave a link to it down below with the discount code so you can get them at an affordable, super affordable, super discounted price. So thank you again Haka for sending me something that I truly love and believe in and yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Ah, boom, boom, boom. Ah, boom, boom, boom. Say bye guys, thanks for watching. Cutie patootie!